Konnichiwa, my name is t Secure, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's Tenet First Impressions is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game. This is, believe it or not, Bob the Builder. Can we fix it? Found this over at Goodwill, and I thought I'd play it for you guys because it... These are the best ones to really play. Okay. Can we build it? Can we build it? Hold up, where's... Okay, knock it down. This is gonna be fun. Yes. We'll use your wrecking ball to knock down each pillar. Press the X button to swing the ball. Alright. I don't know if this might be a little too hard. Wow. Good job, Lofty. Oh, this is an arcade style. Great. Good job, Lofty. Good job, Lofty. Okay. Arcade style for the kids. And now, Sir Guy, would you please stand on top of one of those? We want to show you something very special. Good job, Lofty. Let's build a new bridge. No, definitely no. I guess I should have said, you know, 10 minutes to play the game, first time playing the game, and I can't skip anything. And I... I guess I was just so excited to uh, start it that I just did start it without even starting my timer. Wow. More that I guess I'm just not going to be able to handle playing too much of it. Well, I started my timer now. So, I'm going to get my... Yeah. But, yeah. So, I forgot to start with all that. I guess I was just really excited to get this started. To see just how bad this game is really going to be. ...using the directional buttons. And pick it up using the X button. Match the color to the color of the bricks underneath. Then press the X button to drop it in. Place each item before you pick up the next one. Today's been a weird day. Let me just put it that way. But hey, it works. Okay. Great! Can you get the next section now? Sure! I wonder where this piece goes. Good work! We can build it! No, don't say that ever again. Yes, Lofty? Oh no! I don't like it! It's too high! Don't worry, Lofty. The bridge is safe now. So... It's a talking... bridge. Or a talking... car. Right. Move the bowl around the screen using the directional buttons until Pilchard's snores get louder. This means you are closer to where she's hiding. The one who, if it's a she, shouldn't it be a pink cat? I know! She's over here! Here kitty 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 kitty. Here kitty ki No, okay. She's hiding behind this flower. No, no. Okay, try to think. Ah, oh, man, this is hard. Could anybody out there know where the cart is? I can't, I can't find it. Man, this is difficult. Maybe she's over here by the tree. No. I know! She's all right over here. No. Man, I can't believe I cannot find this. This is really, really hard. Wow. <sighs> Maybe right here? No, okay. Maybe right here. No, okay. Then right here. I just cannot find this cat anywhere. I'm going to waste my entire 10 minutes playing this because I can't find those stupid cat. I'm actually quite amazed that they made it this hard. 
This is one of those games that you would not want to give your child because it's so hard. Maybe the cat's over here? No, okay. Maybe here. No? Dinner time, Pilchard! Come and get it! I had to make it slightly different. Really? I thought that was go forward. Help. Yes, you definitely need some help. Okay. Medium. All right, let's see what medium is like. Move the bowl around the screen using the directional buttons. And Remember everybody, this is on medium mode. This means you are closer to where she's hiding. Where can she be? <sighs> you never see where the car is, I'm serious. It's so hard. Dinner time, Pilchard! Come and get it! I don't know what they say about this. If that really is all there is, too, there's three sections of the game. You make them easy to hard. Make them bigger to small. Uh, this one's gonna be hard. <laughs> Move the bowl around the screen using the directional buttons until Pilchard's snores get louder. Pilchard. Putrid. Hmm. What a lovely name for a cat. Here, Putrid. Here, Putrid. Okay. Now, see, this it would drive your kid crazy. However... Where would the cat be? Because I can see the blue cat right there. At least they tried. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get okay, they, they, they didn't really try. But, um, so is that it? Is that really all we get? No, I don't want to try again. I've already beaten the game. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Is there anything? Scary spot. Okay, um... Right. It's a crow with really, really big feet. Always scare the nearest crows first using the directional buttons. Follow crows to the edge of the field to stop them from coming back. If a crow is not scared off by Spud running, make him blow raspberries using the X button. What? Why raspberries? Do crows not hate raspberries? I thought they loved them. <laughs> okay, I see. Not particularly... <laughs> I will be honest, I've never heard him be called a fart a raspberry. Well, are they not allowed to say fart or passing gas on a kid's show? <laughs> Goodbye, crows. What the heck? Oh, I thought I'd already beaten the game. <laughs> Look, a nice yummy apple. No. What? Blow raspberries. Right. Oh, let's see how hard this one is. 
using the directional buttons until Pilchard's snores get louder. This means you are closer to where she's hiding. Where can she be? <laughs> Hi there, kitties! Today we're going to find a blue cat. Can you see where the blue cat is? Is it over here by the fence? Nope, it's not by the fence. How about behind the giant hay uh, thingy? Nope, it's not behind this one. What about the other one? Nope. I know, maybe she's in the tree. Okay, kitties. We can't seem to find the cat anywhere. What do you think it would be? It's behind the fence, you idiot. You're not a kid. I didn't ask you. Come on, kitties. Where's the cat? Um, behind the fence, like he said, because you're an idiot. Kids these days, they have no respect for anybody. Dinner time, Pilchard. Come and get it. No. I don't even want to try hard mode. And, you know, if you tried hard mode, I wonder if the farts got a lot harder. Wendy's, Wendy's birthday! Cake-tastic. We're going to have a birthday party just for you, Wendy. Oh. And we're going to so tell you. And start making a surprise birthday party where we're going to scare the living the dickens out of you, you know? To select a decoration and place it on the cake. Place each item. Yay! End the game by pressing the done button. Oh, look at that. My time is almost up. Yes. Dynamite! Dynamite! <laughs> oh, well, there goes the timer. Well, first of all, I just want to say sorry about not starting off correctly. Just, I don't know. I, I really guess I really wanted to get in to see how bad this really was so badly that I skipped my routine. Okay, verdict. Graphically, the game looks really good. I mean, yes, given it's all pre-rendered backgrounds and all that, uh, but that's not a bad thing. Is it a game worth giving the kids to play? In my opinion, no. It would be like, you know, buying the Teletubbies game for PlayStation 1 and letting kids play with that, where they do nothing but stupid things. But, if it's your kid's favorite show, by all means, let them. Of course, if you have a kid who walks up, Mom, Dad, I need help. I can't find this stupid cat. You walk in and it is Lily there. Um... Jimmy, can you see that, that, that tail over there? Well, that can't be the cat. That'd be too easy. Oh, no, honey. I think he's right about that. Go over to the tail. That's obviously the cat. And select the tail. Wow, Mom, you're amazing. Hmm. I didn't think that was going to be it. It'd be too easy. But I'm happy to see that they actually included a lot more. I honestly thought it was one thing. Yeah, three levels, you're done. So I'm happy to see they have more levels. Yes, a lot of it's cheesy stuff that you would see on a DOS game for kids. But if that's what makes your kid um, excited and happy, I guess why not? Um... Honestly, it's one of those games you just pick up for the collection. And put it into the uh, shelf of really bad games that are just fun to have. And pull out to play with friends when they are completely smashed. Yes. So, yes, this has been a really weird game. So far, we've been able to break down a bridge, rebuild the bridge, and find a stupid cat. Next one, we played as a scarecrow who... Farts to scare away crows, and we find a cat on the farm, and now we're making a birthday cake with freaking dynamite on it. Okay, the dynamite on the cake pot's actually pretty funny. If we can light it and watch the person die, 
as the cake is blown to smithereens with the idiot who thought it would be smart to light that one, then it might be good. Wahaha. Simmons, light the candle! Whatever. Um, it really is just a bad game. At least it looks good, but I still hate it with how they, they'll, how they'll do that. Where's this one, kitties? Come on! You know, just like that one uh, episode from Johnny Bravo. Hey, Johnny! In this room, we have a giant pink rhinoceros. Do you think you can find it? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Um, do you know, he's not over here. He's not over here. Hey, buddy, have you seen a giant pink rhinoceros somewhere? Why, no! Oh, Johnny, your time is up. I'm right here, stupid. I was here the whole time. You know, I just, I really hate that they do that. But whatever, it's still, it's made for kids. <laughs> I'd love to actually have, like, uh, have a younger, you know, have one of my cousins that's younger. Like, here, try it out this game. Because they're probably just looking at me. This game is stupid. Yeah. I know. Anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this 10 minute first impressions of Bob the Builder. We can fix it! On the PlayStation 1. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Ciao and sayonara.